Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here to pick up a prescription. Sure. Can you please verify your name and date of birth? Brian Davidson, February 22nd. Okay, Mr. Davidson. Um, can I have your address, please? 27 Bradford Street, Newton, Massachusetts. Okay. Let me get your prescription real quick. Okay. Okay, Mr. Davidson, your doctor has prescribed you a glucose meter. Um, along with test strips, lancets, and control solution. Um, you're going to need to check, test yourself three times a day, and your prescription has three refills on it. Um, would you like for me to show you how this works? Yes, please. I really appreciate it. Okay, great. No problem. It's what I'm here for. So you've chosen the True Metrics glucose meter system. Um, it includes the meter. Um, it includes 10 test strips. It includes a lancet device and 10 lancets. Um, these all expire on October 31st of 2021. Um, it also includes an owner's manual and a carrying case and a log book to document all of your test results on so that if you need to take it to the doctor's office you've got it all together. Um, control solution is required for this meter but it is not included in this. So after I demonstrate how this meter works I'll get the pharmacist to speak with you about which solution would be best for this particular glucose meter. Okay? Uh-huh. Fabulous. Okay, you need to make sure that you wash your hands with warm soapy water and dry them thoroughly before doing any sort of testing. Okay, I'm going to go over the Lancet um, device first. Okay, this is a single person patient use only and should not be shared with anyone else. Okay. This is the lancet, and when you twist the cap, it will come off, and there's a very tiny needle sticking out. So you want to make sure you keep that cap on there until you're ready to use it. So on our lancet device, we pull the cap off, and right here is where we're going to put the lancet into, push it down there snugly. This is why you want to keep that little cap on so you don't puncture yourself. Um, this is called the barrel. So when I pull the barrel back, you see how it went in. All we're going to do is click that button and it's going to stick you. So for this, we're going to go ahead and remove our lancet. Okay, um, on the outside here, you can see that we have a dial that goes from 5 to 1. Um, if you have thick or callous skin, you're going to want to put it like at five for average skin around three or four but if it's thin soft skin i would put it like at um, one okay so we're just going to set this aside and we're going to go over the meter and our test strips okay um, i have got extra test strips here that i'm going to show you using so i don't get into your supply okay so we're going to remove one of the test strips from the vial. You want to close it immediately and make sure to use that strip um, fairly quickly um, after removing it in order to receive an accurate reading. And you cannot reuse a test strip. Okay. So this is a test strip and you can see that on one end there are black blocks and the other end does, um, this is what you're going to stick the blood into, or stick this into the blood. So with your meter off, okay, you're going to stick your test strip into that little port, and it automatically will come on. When you hear that beep, you'll see that little drop of blood down there, and that means that it is ready to go. So before we prick our finger, you might want to massage your palm up to your fingertip on whichever finger you're going to use to get that blood circulating really good 
so that um, you'll have a good drop of blood come out. Okay, so we take our lancet, we pull back our barrel, and we're going to place this against the tip of our finger firmly and hit the button. Okay, for best results, you want to lance on the side of your fingertips. So now we're going to allow the blood to form, and then we're going to take our meter and we're going to stick the tip of it into that drop of blood and let it soak up or draw up into that strip. Okay? As soon as you hear the meter starting to beep um, and the dashes appear across the display, remove it from the blood. Okay? So once the test um, is finished, the strip release button uh, will blink and you just press that to remove your strip. And then you're going to discard this in an appropriate container. Okay. Be sure to record all of your uh, results in your logbook so you have that documentation. Um, you'll need to clean your meter um, and disinfect it uh, at least once a week. Okay. Um, there are detailed instructions on how to clean it in your owner's manual. Um, there's also a um, troubleshooting section in there. So if you get an error message on that screen, um, just go to that trouble section, see if you can figure it out. If it continues to appear, then you need to call the toll-free number and speak with the manufacturer about the problem and see if they can take care of it. Okay, um, do you have any other questions for me, Mr. Davidson? No, I don't believe so. Okay, great. Okay, I'll get the pharmacist so he can speak with you about the control solution that you'll need to use. Okay, um, Mr. Davidson, this is um, our pharmacist, Eddie, and he is going to talk to you about the control solution and let you know which would be the best bet for you, okay? All right, well, thank you for coming in and have a great day.